Are you tired of using unrealistic powered wheels for your car? This, this, this is not okay. This needs to stop now. Do you want to build engines but you have no idea how? If you have one of those problems, I might have the solution for you. Presenting the Besiege engine video. Watch it to get a better understanding how engines function and how you can build them for yourself. Before we continue with the video, I have put the time mix in the description in case you only want to see one specific engine. First, let me show you what kind of engines exist. From what I have found, there are about 8 engines. Two of them need mods to work. There can be more engines than that, but I haven't found them or couldn't think of any other way to build engines. If you however do find them, please share them in the comments and I will include them in the description. The 8 engines I have found were Spring Engine, Rope Engine, Steam Engine, Wheel Engine, Firework Engine and then the two modded engines, Spark Block Engine and Hover Engine. There are different ways to build these engines. For example, a water cannon can push a wheel or it can be fixed to the wheel so it rotates it. I will only show you one way or else the video will be too long. Let us start with the first engine, the spring engine. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to how you can build your spring engine. First, <clears throat> you will no. Let, let's let's start with the pistons. So you just want to make a block f away from the main block, okay? And what's important is that it's one block above the main block. Then you go to mechanical and get a hinge and put it here. Yeah, stay on mechanical and get the pistons and put two pistons here. You want to put toggle mode on. And that's it. Nothing else. Okay. Actually, okay, that's better. Now you'll have to get a wheel, an unpowered wheel. You should get a big one because the small one doesn't have these side attachment points. This one's better. Now you want to get a swivel joint, put that there, and then take, take a brace and connect these two, this piston with the swivel joint. Okay, that's it. Oh, okay, I almost forgot. This is, this isn't important for you, but for me it is because I have to show you how it works, so it has to stay in place. Now, when I press H, as you see, the piston pushes the wheel up, which gives us a um, rotation motion. And when I pull it back together, it will go back. And as you can see, with this motion we can create an A engine. Now, the problem now is that you have to push, uh, you have to click H every time to give, give a half rotation. If you want that to be at automatic, then you'll have to add sensors to your engine. How, you are, how are you going to do that? That's pretty simple. Just add... blocks like this and then go to automation get the sensor and just add two okay they have to emulate H
now. And as you can see, we have our spring engine. This should be the sim a pretty simple engine to build, so you shouldn't have a lot of problems with it. Uh, I've seen some people that put a sensor here. I couldn't do that, so I just switched places with it so it works better. I've also created a version with two pistons, which will mean that the um, engine is stronger. Uh, in Besiege though, it didn't make really a difference. Um, so you can just add one wheel with one piston. Uh, the spring engine can work perfectly with that. But if you want to be a bit realistic, if you, then you can add some more. It will just make your engine bigger and bulkier. I, yeah, just make one. If you want to see how it works, it works perfectly. Now the rope engine I've already made, so uh, you can copy it if you want to. It's really basic, however, I have not figured out how it should, it's supposed to work. I've seen a video on YouTube that there, uh, that the creator of this engine made some proof of work. So there's some proof that rope engines can be made. From what I understood, it was basically that... Hold on. I'm going to place something so you know what's where. So this is Y, okay? And these other ones are X, C and uh, F, V. I don't know what's that in English. When I press Y, the engine won't move because Y is here. But if I press X, as you can see, the engine moved. And then I press C, and then I press V, and then I can just continue with this. And what this does is that we will get a really fast engine, faster than anything else that I uh, have built. I don't know how you can make this automatic with sensors and stuff. I couldn't figure that out. But if you do know how to, just send a link of a video or something like that in the description and I will add that to the video. It will be helpful. Okay, now here is the steam engine. The steam engine is for the people who don't like to use mods but also want to keep some um, realism to the engines. It's a bit more complicated to build, but it is possible to do so. Um, the way it works is we have this boiler and yeah, this boiler and it will stay turned on. When it's on, it will push up this block. Hold on, let me, yeah, okay. It will push on to this block and then it will go up. And as it go up, goes up, this block will be pulled by this um, wheel and it will block the steam from the uh, water cannon. And when that happens, the block here will go back down because there's nothing that can uh, push it up. If you want this, to see this in motion, then it will look like this. Now the engine is more powerful and more, much more faster when you do it, uh, when you add more cannons and more pistons like this. It's quite complicated, so I uh, feel free to pause this video and build it yourself if you want to um, copy it or something like that if you want to if you want to make it more powerful then just copy and paste now the wheel engine it's not a real engine if you ask me because you still use powered wheels but 
you can do that if if you want to i just think that's a real lazy uh, way of building a, a engine um, i've already did that as well just to show you how it should work and it's really basic you've um, got your engine here which is yeah which is fixed and it will only spin this part and it won't spin itself it's pretty it's pretty simple and you can do you can make it as fast as you want uh, until there's a limit because all all wheels all powered wheels have a limit in this game at some point they will just spin out and break everything now okay the firework engines just like the wheel engine a simple and lazy way of building an engine uh, i don't think i've built that so i'm just gonna do it now it's all also really really simple so you just need a big wheel and you need a firework and let's put two because if you only have one it will spin a bit weird um, connect them to the wheel and when you press T they will rotate and of course explode if you don't turn off the um, explosive charge now this engine while it works it only works for a maximum of 10 seconds unless you have mods to um, like me here at 100, 100 seconds of flight duration just like the real engine a really lazy way of building an engine but you can do that I just think it's pretty ugly because then you'll have all this black smoke coming out of somewhere it does work but you know build a proper engine okay now we come to the modded engines before you build you need the mods because without the mods you can't build your engine um, what I suggest you to do is to go to Steam Workshop and browse for the mods um, the first one is spark plug mod it should be somewhere okay it's not coming that means no still nothing I don't know why uh, I'll, I'll just show you from from my mod list what you need okay you need I don't know why I have this I'll just turn it off you need let me see let me see okay I found this you need the spark plug mod this one by demon 3991 without it you can't make uh, an engine okay uh, let's go back let me load up my beautiful map I've made just for this video took a lot of time okay now just like the others I made my piston, uh, my piston, no, 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 my spark plug engines as well. However, I will build them again just to show you how to make one. You can make diff all kinds of different engines, just like in real life. You can make an inline engine. You can make a uh, V. V. I don't know how to pronounce that, and other kinds of engines as well. Uh, let me just show you here for example an inline 4 engine I've also added this uh, just so it looks nice 
and it's pretty simple how it works. As you can see, it works. But it can't go faster because then it will just glitch out. Uh, not, not glitch out, but start working properly. Um, I've also made a two piston variant, which is not good at all because it doesn't work very well. Then I have a V4 simple, but works as well. Just not that good. It can't drive well because if you try to it will stop pretty soon. Yeah, it's 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 a bad it's a bad engine. And then here I have my V6. I'm also planning on doing a V16 for a tank soon. And this one is the best one I've ever built. Because it works very well even when you power it up, it even works in a car. You probably saw this in the intro. Okay. And like this, you can drive out, away, wherever you want. Anyways, so let me show you how to build one. It's gonna take a while. First, oh no. <laughs> okay, I still have them. Okay. What you're, you're gonna, going to need I'm I'm just going to, going to show you a simple V2 and then you can just uh copy it and stuff like that. What I'm going to say though is don't use hinges for the pistons because when you try to make a V whatever let's say V6 with hinges they will get stuck in between each other. Um use these let me show you ball joints because they can just go th through each other without any problems. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Let me look, take a look again so I remember everything. All right. You want to start with a swivel joint placed here. Then you need a steering, uh, yeah, th the steering block. And then I think, yeah, I think you just put two, let, let's just put two here. And then actually V8, we'll do a V8 right now. Then put another swivel joint here, connect this with the main block. I'm just gonna put these here. And okay, now you want to uh, make some different, uh, some different, some different keys here. Uh, I'm just gonna put Y and X on each one. So when I spin it, they will be different, all of them. Like this, for example, which is good for you because you, you don't want your engine to be 
working like this because when they explode all on the same time you won't get a perfect rotation for the next um, explosion so you want them to work all differently so you get an equal amount of power every time not like w 1000 <laughs> yeah okay then you will get a ball joint place them here like this and then another set of them on top of them okay select them whoops actually don't select them yet we'll do that later okay now you'll need a spring co connected to the um, to the ball joints and then you'll get your mod. You'll get... Hold on, what is this? No, that's not what I want. That's also not what I want. Is this what I want? I don't know. What's this? Oh, no, that's too big. I guess we'll get this. Okay, put these micro plugs in the springs. Okay. And the setting for them I'm just gonna leave all of this like that because I forgot everything but yeah okay now we'll just uh, we'll just select them all and make a nice V18 out of this I don't like box engines, they are too wide for me. Let's connect them all. The springs all uh, with each other so they won't wiggle around. Okay. And I'm just gonna connect it like this as well. Okay. When I press A, E I mean, the engine should start working, but it doesn't because it's stuck. What I'm going to do is press Y and it works a bit, it doesn't work perfectly actually. Yeah, probably because the springs are way too um, strong. Let's just make them... What's the minimum? No, that's too much. Okay. Okay. Now let's press Y and then E. And as you can see, we have a working engine. Not perfectly, so you'll just have to press Y again. So it works nicely. And it's as simple as that. They move a bit too much though. So I'm going to stop that. With some more braces. Maybe connect them. From under as well. And that's it. And you have a working engine here. Simple as that. I'm going to save this and call it V8. The last engine I've built as well. Oh, and you need hovering block for that. This one. Uh, I. It's not active at the moment, so I have to activate it. It's disabled.
Yeah, this one. Okay, now it should work now, properly. Uh, you... Yeah, I, I've built this already, as you can see. And it works pretty simple. Uh, hold on. You have these hover blocks and what they do is when they see something close enough they will push themselves away. So you can make for example, uh, where is it, this, I'm just going to place, I can't place it for some reason, oh, because I need to restart my game for that, okay, <clears throat> I'm not going to show you but I'm going to explain you how this works. So yeah, if it's it has a certain distance to see something, which is height. This height is 4, which... And these blocks are, let's say, 2, two meters away. This block sees it, and then it will start pushing. And because there is no way that it can't see any other block, it will continue to spin. You can add more than two, like four, yeah, about four or even more if you want to, but it won't do any difference. With this, you can build a really strong engine that has high torque, uh, torque here, but it's not really a, a real engine if you think about it, because all you have is a mod which pushes a block, just like the water cannons. Basically, this is the water cannon uh, thing that which is fixed to the rotation object or for example the fireworks just like that this is also a lazy way of building engines but it makes it a bit bigger than the others yeah and that's it now you learned every engine which I know of how to build them how they work. Thank you for watching. I know this was a pretty long video and some parts were stuck from the video. I don't I had some problems with my screen recorder. But I hope this helped you. If it didn't, let me know. I can remake this. It, it's no problem for me. If you have any questions, just ask them. I will try my best to answer them. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.